Welcome to Discovering the Christian Faith, an overview of the basic teachings of the Christian Church. This is Pastor Mike Schmid from St. John's Lutheran Church in Napa, California. And this is session 14, which will be a little bit different than the previous sessions. We are continuing our look at the communal relationship, our relationship with God that also involves our brothers and sisters in Christ. Last session focused on the church, the church universal, all believers in Christ of all time and all places. This session will focus on the local church, a congregation. Well, one congregation in particular, St. John's Lutheran Church in Napa, California, what we're about and what it means to be a member here. So this session will not so much be about Christian doctrine or teaching from the Bibles as just an introduction to St. John's and what membership at St. John's entails. But first, let's talk about that label, Lutheran. What that refers to is the heritage of the 16th century reformer Martin Luther. The churches that bear his name trace their theological heritage to the Reformation. Now, the history of the Reformation is way beyond the scope of this session, as fascinating as it is. There are excellent resources available if you would like to study it, and we can talk about it and I can point them out to you when we meet. But what the Reformation was about was reforming the church, looking at what the church was doing and teaching, and seeking to bring it back in line with the Word of God and the mission of God. So although the Reformation as an event took place almost 500 years ago, the task of reforming the church continues today. And churches that call themselves Lutheran should be engaged in this task, examining the church, its practice, its teaching, and calling it to reform when necessary. To change and reform anything that the church is doing that's getting in the way of the gospel, the word of God, and the mission of God. That task will not be complete until Christ returns. So that's what we mean by Lutheran. Now, there's a couple other things about, that are important to note about that. Being called Lutheran doesn't mean we worship Martin Luther. In fact, he didn't want a church named after him. The name Lutheran as a label attached to churches was first done by those who opposed him, and it was kind of a put-down. What he preferred was the name Evangelical, which means gospel or good news. What's interesting is that the official name of St. John's contains both names, the one that Luther didn't want and the one that he did. St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church is our official name. So we respect Martin Luther. He was a courageous and brilliant man, but he'd also be the first to admit that he was a sinner and quite fallible. And in fact, there are things that he taught and, and spoke and said that we don't agree with and we don't teach today. We are a Lutheran church engaged in ongoing reformation. Now, there's a really quick summary of what Lutherans emphasize. You can break it down into three simple questions. It's real simple. How do I know it's true about God? Well, it's the Bible. We talked about that in session six. How do I know I'm right with God? It's by grace through faith. We talked about that in the first session, and that's been emphasized and echoed, I think, in every session since. And finally, how does God come to me? The pipeline, remember that? through word and sacrament. Well, this was in session six, as well as eight through 10. Now that's a really quick overview of what the Lutheran church, Lutheran churches emphasize. Now, all the churches that call themselves Lutheran are not necessarily united in one organization or denomination. There are numerous Lutheran denominations and bodies around the world. St. John's is affiliated with the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Missouri? Well, that's a reflection of the history of the church body. It was started by immigrants from Saxony who settled in Missouri. Well, the name has stuck with the church. We could blame it on the fact that they're Germans and pretty stubborn. So even though the LCMS, Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, LCMS, is all over the nation now and all around the world, and it's been 170 years since those Saxon immigrants showed up, we still call ourselves Missouri. But what's more important than that label is what it means to work together as brothers and sisters in Christ in a synod. That's a Latin word that means walk together, walk the same road. Well, we unite with other LCMS churches in a common confession. We work together to train church workers in our colleges and seminaries. We engage in domestic and international missions and relief work together. 
We work on education. The LCMS has the second largest network of parochial schools and also an excellent university system. But the LCMS is congregational. What I mean by that is all important decisions are made at the local level. And the denomination is really a hierarchy, and it serves in an advisory way. The local church owns its own property, calls its own pastors and teachers. They're not assigned from somewhere else. For more information about the LCMS and what it's all about, you can see that at lcms.org. Let's talk about St. John's Lutheran Church. A little bit about the history first. It was founded in 1907. The original location was downtown on 2nd Street. There's a very nice parking lot there right now. 1938, the school began in just one room. 1956, not a good time. There was a split, and a group left St. John's and formed a new congregation in Napa uh, on Kilburn Avenue called Faith Lutheran Church. St. John's then, a few years later, purchased the land where the church now sits, the campus now sits, on Linda Vista, and first began to build the school. The school had quite outgrown the, uh, the original site. 1964, the sanctuary was dedicated. 78 additional classrooms and a gym were built. 2001, the split was undone, and St. John's and Faith remerged. 2002, big building program. We built the Faith Chapel, named after Faith Lutheran Church, the North Field, and, and many other things around the campus. In 2005, Iglesia Cristiana Misión de Jesús was founded, a ministry of St. John's, Spanish language, in the building on Kilburn Avenue that was Faith Lutheran Church. It's now Misión de Jesús. We called Pastor Luis Alvarado to lead that uh, Spanish language ministry. 2007, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of St. John's Lutheran Church. So that's a little overview of the history, but, but what's really important is what are we engaged in today? What are we about as a church? Well, this is our mission statement. Leading people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ, his followers, and his world. And note several things here. Our focus is on people. And relationships and our task as a congregation is to lead people into growth that is to say we're about making disciples now did you notice in that mission statement the up in and out that we talked about in lesson 11 well as I mentioned then this is the triangle and the expression up in and out is something that the congregation is quite familiar with our mission statement isn't just words on a paper in a file cabinet this is something we talk about and strive to inculcate in our lives, our congregational life, in our individual lives. So let's look at it more closely. Leading people up is about growing intimacy with God, with Jesus Christ. This happens through knowing God more deeply through his word, worship, and prayer, and serving God as we use his gifts to his glory. So drawing closer to God, and as a congregation, we seek to help people grow up in that way. Leading people in, growing community with his followers, connecting to one another in meaningful relationships. The congregation is to be a body, a flock, all those things we talked about in the last session. And loving one another by providing care, encouragement, and accountability. And then out, leading people out, growing priestly relationships with the people of the world. What's a priest? A priest is someone who stands between God and someone who needs God, who may not have God. And the priest brings the things of God into their lives and brings their needs to God in prayer. It is a mission word in our New Testament setting. We have priestly relationships. We take the blessings of God into our community, into our world, and we bring the needs and prayers of the community and world to God in prayer. So that's about serving the real needs of people in our community, sharing the life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ with those who don't know him, and supporting the growth of the kingdom of God throughout the world. Now, I'm not going to describe all the ways in which we carry out this up, in and out at St. John's, all the ministries, all the opportunities at St. John's. Uh, since you're watching this, these sessions, I assume you found the website 
and would encourage you, to, if you haven't already done so, to look around and notice all the different ways in which people have the opportunity to be led to grow up and in and out. Now, what's membership about? What does it mean to be a member of St. John's? Well, membership is making a commitment to being part of the ministry, wanting not just to be a consumer, but a producer, being part of making it happen, supporting it, and thereby benefiting more fully. Being part of a congregation is clearly an expectation in the New Testament. This relational Christianity is lived out in relationships in a congregation. So membership is saying, yes, I want to be part of this family, to get involved, to work with my brothers and sisters, to grow with them, as we pursue God's mission and being a blessing to each other and to the community. Well, what are the expectations? What do we strive for as members? Well, there's three corporate, community, congregational activities that we really emphasize that should be basic. First is worship, gathering as a family to worship, to praise and work pray together, blessed by the word and the sacraments. Being involved with a small group or a Bible study growing as disciples as we do life together and, and nurture our relationships with each other, and serving, finding some area to serve in our work together or work out in the community. It could be serving some way in the congregation to bless our brothers and sisters in our work. It could be something out in the community that may not be connected directly to the congregation, but still, this is what we do as people of God. We serve. And there's three individual activities we talk about a lot and encourage people to be growing in in their individual lives, having an active prayer life, prayer, conversation. We talked about this in chapter seven, in session seven, our speaking to God. Engaged in witnessing the mission. We are constantly witnessing by our lives. We encourage people to share their faith with the people around them. We're not talking about going door to door. We're talking about the people that you know, that you have a relationship with. And tithing, worshiping the Lord with our tithes and our offerings, as we say in worship. Setting aside a portion of our income to worship God with it and to be his partner for his mission. The biblical standard was 10%. That's called a tithe. So we encourage all members to grow in their giving with confidence that God provides for us so that we can be generous. Above all, what we encourage for all those who are part of the St. John's family is growth, ongoing growth. We pray that this is true for us individually and as a congregation, growing up closer to Christ, growing in our community, and growing out into the world. Well, this concludes session 14, a communal relationship, St. John's Lutheran Church. In this session, we focused on our local congregation, what we're about, St. John's Lutheran Church, and what it means to be a member here. Now, if you would like to discuss this further, come contact me to set up a time to meet. This is Pastor Mike Schmidt of St. John's Lutheran Church in Napa, California. May God bless your walk and your growth.